Hey guys, it's Legit Midget Tricks Hot Shots and Gaming, and we're back with another video of my NBA 2K16. So the Ravage Clash is going on. I'm doing pretty crappy. I'm. What I want to get is the star, but I can't grind hard enough. But I really can't. I don't really know if I can or not. But. Whatever. I'm trying to grind. I'm in the 3000s right now. Last night I got to the 1500s. Which is the best I've ever done. But. It always goes up. And I had school. And then I got home and I was in the 4000s. And then I got. Uh, ate supper and then I was. Still in the 4000s. I went, I was in the 3000s and I left for supper. Then I was in the 4000s. So. No. Really, really good pulls today. We did get our. New Dennis Rodman. Today. We found, I found a. 2,801 2, buy it now. Which is like the best it could be. And then I got it. And then I proed him today. So, he's in my lineup now. Still a legendary plus plus lineup. Now, if I only had a card right there. That'd be awesome. But, I don't. So. I mean, I have a card right there. But, I mean, I wish it was like a power forward. I like my... Uh, the best card, like, I would, I like, my favorite cards are, all my du dual position epic pros, because they're, like, really good. You can use them for two position in your lineup, two positions in your lineup, which helps you out a lot. The best thing I've pulled today is a ultra rare, but I guess that's fine. My... Third legendary reset should be coming in the next couple days. If I'm on the grind hard enough, I'll probably get it. My team's doing pretty good, I would say. We're ranked 87th, which is good. I want to stay in the 100. I want to stay, like, under 100 so that we can get the uh, perks. Let's just play this dude. Probably gonna lose unless he has a bad strategy. We started our second legendary season. Our first one didn't go as we hoped because there wasn't a there wasn't like RTTC going on or anything else like that. So I didn't like energize my players that much. But on this but uh we didn't make the playoffs, so we just got three uncommon cards. I think we won about thirty no no, 20 some games, but this season we're gonna work harder because right now we're 3 0 because we just started about three hours ago. But I'll show you my season. Okay, we'll be 4 0 after this game. Oh, uh, standings, how good are we doing? We're probably tied for your, yeah, obviously tied for first, but there's like mine people at the first place spot and some of these dudes are like amazing let's look at this dude like legendary pros okay one legendary pro last one there was like a guy with five legendary pros that's just awesome this dude has three okay season rewards the legendary record setter card that's awesome yeah, just that. Just legendary, legendary, and then legendary MVP, and then record setter. And we're trying to complete our goal right now. One out of five. Add five new cards to your catalog. Then we'll have a thousand. Then we'll have seven thousand five hundred. And then we'll probably make some moves on the auction house. Ultra rares aren't really selling. I put seven. Well, I sold one. I put up seven ultra rares and only one sold. 
I mean, since the star tier came out, it's just like ruined everything. It's really, I love the star tier, but it's like ruining our auction house, basically. Next year in 2K17, I think they should change something about it. I don't know what, I'm just saying. But, they should change something about the auction house. I don't know exactly what. But, something about when the star tier comes out, that would like help it out. I don't know. Playoff tier should come out in the next few months. Playoff tier, I think. Came out in 2K15. <coughs> then stars will be costing like legendaries. And legendaries will probably be like epics. And then it'll be easy to get legendar legendaries and epics. Epics will be selling for 30,000. All of them will. And they probably won't even sell for 5,000. One thousand seven sixty nine points, and we're gonna get a legendary right now. Nope, Chris Anderson. Well, I'm gonna get a legendary Chris Anderson. That's not possible, cause there is none. Unless Chris Anderson was ever good, and it really wasn't a star in the NBA. Probably this video will end when I get my reset. If it's a rare to legendary, whatever it is. How are y'all guys doing on the Rivals Clash? Rivals Clash is my favorite. I like RTTC too, but Rivals Clash, the cards are easier to win. But in Road to the Championship, you do win multiple cards. But they're hard to get to. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to get to the Legendary and win some games, you'll need at least 10 to 12 Epic Pros. And then like 10 to 12 Legendaries in your lineup. If you want to get the Legendary, you like plus 5s or plus 2s? I don't know. I'm, if I, I really need a power forward for Road to the Championship, so I would be fine with that Chris Bosch card, but <clears throat> I would like my first star, but I'd rather have the, I'd rather improve my one, one uh, position instead of like, just like absolutely being a beast at one position, if that makes any sense. We are almost epic plus plus tier in our um, Red of the Championship deck. We're still epic plus, but that will change. When we pull, get more epic pros, epic pros improve it so good. Oh, yes. This. Uh, Dennis Rodman is a great addition to my lineup. Please meet me. Oh, dude, that dude was overpowered. That dude was really overpowered. He had two legendary pros and then stat charged it. <coughs> That's exactly what happened to me last time. I got down to the very last pick, and then it was a uh, ultra rare. That's how I put my ultra rare about 30 minutes ago. And now, it'll probably come down to the last card. I don't know, though. It could be a super rare rare, but it really, it it's probably going to be a super rare rare, but it could be an epic or legendary. Ugh. That'd be awesome. Okay. After this, we should be done with this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later, guys.